hello everyone welcome back to my channel my name is natalie if you're new here and if you're returning thank you for your support so today i'm doing a super quick this is literally an eight minute video on my nighttime skincare routine i have been trying to film this for a couple days now because i feel like i have gotten down to the products that i know i love and will continue to use so i decided to just film this really quickly so i can let the girls know what's going on also the guys too because some of these products most of these products actually might I say all of these products are unisex honey so girls and guys can use it so don't get it don't get it twisted okay my first step of course is picking my hair out the way and making sure it's behind my face I was excited to film this specifically because this this day I wore makeup so I wanted to do a full you know pre cleanse get rid of the makeup and then go into like my actual skincare routine so whether I have a wig on or whether I have my natural hair I'm always wearing this little white headband because I just kind of I don't want the products to get into my edges because some of them it might be drying for my hair who knows so I just always put this just as a precaution and then after I start to pre-cleanse, I'm using the Dermalogica pre-cleanse. It's so, so, so good, but it is pretty expensive. I think it's like $40 to $50. An alternative is literally the Oat Cleansing Balm. Everyone talks about it. It's in Sephora. It's about $7 from the Inky List. So it's the Inky List Oat Cleansing Balm as an alternative to pre-cleanse. And basically what pre-cleansing mean is just to remove, like a, it's like a first cleanse. It gets rid of all the oil base debris on your face so they can go in with your water-based cleanser and get rid of all the i guess the water-based debris i think this is just me in my little fake dermatologist mode so i pre-cleanse first and i used to wash it off with water with my hands but i started using a towelette like so this is a microfiber towel you can find on amazon very gentle on your skin i started using this first to wipe off my pre-cleanse i'll like lightly damp the towel and it gets rid of the makeup so much easier because i feel like water and oil don't mix like that's like science for us so when i like go in straight with water on my pre-cleanse which is an oil-based product it like has a weird consistency but if i just go in with the towelette very damply it does the job takes off my makeup and i hopped into the shower because i wanted to before i did my nighttime skincare i wanted to make sure my body was clean first so i hopped into the shower i'm brushing my teeth you better be brushing your teeth and not just once a day twice a day okay and then i go in with this mouthwash i believe this is thera thera breath thera breath yeah you can find it at target you can find it at walmart actually walmart has the biggest size for the cheapest amount because it does walmart love this makes my breath not stink at least no one has told me <laughs> so far and i use this every morning and every night so cleanser so this is a little weird i'm using the set cleanser right now but what happened was the top of it broke off so i had to pour it out into this um it's pretty much like a dispenser for soap but i'm using it for my cleanser so that's what i'm using right now i have i've had this cleanser for years but because I have so many products, I kind of neglected this. So I wanted to go back to it and finish it up. I actually finished it this morning. So I'm really happy I can try something different. I'm really like coming out of being a skincare product junkie because I don't have time for that. It's so hectic when I travel or when I move. So I'm just, I'm not doing that anymore. So I'm trying to get rid of all the products and use them all up. So then I lightly pat my face up with this. This is a, this is a, this is not microfiber. But it's a very gentle material. I'll link it down below for you guys. It's really good for your like patting your face. Then I tone. This is my nighttime toner, my staple glycolic acid toner from The Ordinary. This is literally about eight dollars and twenty cents. You can find it at your Sephora, at your Ulta. This has changed my skin. I started using it a couple months ago, and I heard conflicting things about it that it's too harsh. But I only use it at night because if you if you put it on in the daytime, the sun can cause your skin to be super sensitive to it. I love this toner go get it if you haven't already it's really good for pores it's really good for keeping blackheads away and I have a, and I have trouble with a lot of blackheads next step because it's Sunday I believe in this video I decided I'm gonna do a mask also most of these products are from the ordinary this is also from the ordinary this is their acne blemish prone skin mask I believe it has 2% BHA and 2% AHA super potent and so amazing for the skin I do this about once a week I might skip a week depending on how my skin is doing but this is so good for getting in my pores like I'm telling you once I started using this not only did I have minimal amount of blackheads but I felt like my skin just appeared brighter afterwards left it on for 15 minutes and I'm using the different towel same brand to wipe that off I lightly damp it as well and I just wipe it off my face you see my skin girl it's looking very smooth the thing is okay so i'm using toner again because i realized i washed off the mask and i and i applied the toner before the mask so i basically washed off my toner so just just skip this step i have to do this again because i am not going to sleep without toning my face 
same thing a colic acid go and get you one it's super cheap super affordable next i go in with hyaluronic acid i do hyaluronic acid every morning every night this is from the brand oh my god oh innis innis tree it's in sephora also very affordable this was about this is actually their most expensive product but their brand itself is super affordable like you can find things for seven dollars eight dollars right along the lines of the ordinary and the inky list prices love this hyaluronic acid it's very very water-based so it really penetrates my skin and makes sure i'm hydrated next i go in with this eye cream this is also from the ink list honestly the inky list the ordinary y'all need to sponsor me let's be that into existence amen and amen the ink list eye cream love this eye cream it has retinol in it so i only use this at night as well my skincare routine really is separated from day to night there's some things i interchange like the hyaluronic acid i use it both in the morning and in the night but this one specifically i use it at night this is also my staple I have to have this in my collection. This is the different gel. My girl put me onto this a couple months ago. Oh my gosh, this has transformed my skin. Like, I barely get any breakouts after using this. I thought that different was only for people who either it was prescribed to you or you just had really, really acne prone skin. I don't think I have necessarily that much acne prone skin, so I didn't want to use it. But I really did struggle with a lot of blackheads, a lot of like huge pores and breakouts that were underneath my skin, which were just really hard to get rid of. So this was perfect. This product is my pharmacy herbivore serum i got this during the sephora sale a couple months ago and yeah this is gonna be my new staple because it's really good for brightening my skin like when i wake up in the morning my skin is so bright and it gives me that glass skin you'll see in a second because this product right here i, I can't tell you what it really does but it's gonna continue coming into my into my rotation next i moisturize i'm using the ponds moisturizer very affordable you can get it at walmart for five dollars six dollars honestly i'm learning that skincare does not have to be expensive to be good quality just make sure you're reading the ingredients make sure you're noticing what works for your skin and what doesn't second to last step is my serum so let me tell you something eyebrow serums are the truth look at my eyebrows I'm telling you, a couple months ago, I only had half a brow on both sides. Like, I don't know what was going on, but after using the serum consistently for a couple months, my eyebrows, they actually look like I have brows when I don't have makeup on. So I'm so, so, so happy about that. This is my eyelash serum. Listen, after I took my eyelash extensions out, I had no lashes, girl. So this is definitely something that's in my collection. Next, I go in with another hydrating serum. This is from Lancome. This is their Gentrific, I think it's French, Gentrific, Gentrific serum. Super good, not necessary. So if you don't have if you don't have this, you don't need it. This is my last step, my lip mask. You have to keep the girls hydrated, keep the lips smooth and hydrated. And that's pretty much it. This was a super quick skincare routine. I hope you guys enjoyed it and loved it. And if you have any questions about other products that I may use, why I use certain products or where you can get these products from, let me know in the comments below and I'll be glad to answer. Don't forget to wash your face at night. Make sure you're keeping up with your skincare because that is also self-care. Thank you guys for watching this video and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.